with all the chrome on my bike, just adding this to it is gonna look amazing. Oh, it's Carlo! That's who it is! <laughs> Got a bunch of sheep, cows. Slippy Hollow, New York, baby. Let's go. What a beautiful day out here in dirty. Nope. Just crossed from New Jersey to New York. We got a beautiful day today, man. High of 61, 62 degrees. Blue skies, blue skies. Amazing, man. Meeting up with my boy Kels real quick. We're gonna go for a little ride around town. Um, maybe get a beer. Um, and then I wanna look at his thrashing riser setup on his bike he has a limited and he actually got the thrashing riser setup around the same time when i got my setup here and during that time i was debating if i wanted to go thrashing or if i wanted to go this route if i wanted to go grouse obviously i ended up with the other that setup but um i now have changed my mind and i want to change the setup on this bike i want to change a few things up with the bike now um so that um that riser setup being probably the first thing that we're going to be changing out right now so reason why i want to meet up with him as well is because i kind of want to get a feel for the height of the risers he has on his bike he has a 9.5 pullbacks on there then he also has a mid bend bar so i want to see if if that's going to feel perfect for me or maybe i should go lower or not but we'll see then um and then we'll do a little side comparison of the arlen setup with the uh, thrashing as well and then I'll give you guys a few reasons why I want to change it out and everything else. But um, yeah, but for now, just sit back, enjoy today's video. It should be a fun one. And I am thirsty and I am craving a nice cold beer. Sleepy Hollow, man. Love it out here. I grew up here basically my whole life. Sleepy Hollow, New York. Yes, this is the real town. This is the real Sleepy Hollow where the legend of the Hellas Horseman came from. So this is it right here. Beautiful town in Westchester County. Uh, a bunch of beautiful back roads up here as well. I should come up here and do some more riding more often. Um, what I want to do one day actually, I don't know, it might be fun for you guys or not, but what I want to do is make a video, come over here, ride around town, and kind of do the tourist thing. So we'll go exactly to the place where the whole horseman story passed by. So they take you on a little a little uh, tour of that area you visit the cemetery you visit the grounds where they used to live at uh they show you the church um and it's, it's pretty cool i mean i did it when i was younger and it was pretty awesome um but uh yeah i, I wanna i might i might do that get on film for you guys and make it like a a thing for the day real historic place up here real historic area um, not even just this town, but the surrounding towns as well. These little, uh, these towns up here in Westchester County have been around since 1700s. So, really, really old towns and a lot of cool artifacts up here. You got the the whole Rockefeller Estate up in this area. You had a bunch of cool places and old mansions and just cool stuff. You have architecture like that over there, um, Dutch-like, because this is kind of taken over by the dutch as well um a lot of cool stuff man let's keep riding down we'll meet up with uh Kels right now and give you a side-by-side -side comparison his bike his his limited is sick man you're you're definitely gonna want to see his bike <music>
taking up the whole TT right now. Ah. Uh. My brother Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Still, man. How you been? Good, bro. What's up, bro? Good, bro. Okay, I see you now. All right. <laughs> I see you now. <laughs> so we got the thrashing set up right here. I'm just taking it around the block real quick. Get a nice little feel for it. All right. So, yeah, I I, I definitely like this already. So you got the 9.5 um, thrashing supply riser with the mid bend bar here. And it feels perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to find out was, is it gonna fit and is it gonna feel comfortable? And it does. This is perfect, man. I made my decision. That was that was easy. That was easy. And I kind of wanna, I wanna do the same setup. So you know that <clears throat> this comes in chrome and it comes in all black and you get the bar in either black or chrome or whatever it is. Um, so I want, basically the exactly how this is so with the chrome riser the black bar my bike has a lot of chrome on it already so that's gonna look really nice really nice it's just like the comfort man it's like the perfect height for me and i'm five seven guys so for those of you guys who don't know, more on the shorter end, and this type of setup right here just feels perfect. <clears throat> Thrashing makes such nice stuff. I actually have this same, well, well, yeah, basically the same riser on my Dyna. I had a chrome, uh, the same chrome riser. I think that one might have been, that one might have been the 9.5 on it as well. But yeah, it's gonna look sick because with all the chrome on my bike, just adding this to it is gonna look amazing. And then when we get back right now, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna put it next to my bike to show you guys exactly another reason why I wanna change it, just to clean it up. Cause I'm very like, I'm very meticulous when it comes to certain things, when it comes to like looks on the bikes. And yeah, it's just something that's just killing me right now about my riser, so I'll, I'll show you guys right now. Let me show you guys this quick, really, really quick, what I'm talking about. So if you see right here, this has been driving me crazy. First of all, I wanna clean this up because I wanna get rid of this, this stock part right here. When I got this installed, it, all the wires were left crazy and someone tried to fix this for me and it kind of made it look better, but I hate this now. It just, it just bothers me, it looks ugly to me now. And then there's just this whole empty space right here that's missing. There's like, it's just, I feel like when you look from far away, it's just, I don't know, something, it just feels like something's missing there. So when you look at the thrashing, you got the gauges in the front, and it just kind of fills up that whole space right there. It just makes it look, makes it look cool, man. I don't know. It just makes it look really, really nice. And we got the carbon fiber here in the back. That's a nice, clean setup right there. Very, very nice. Thrashing supply setup versus the Arlen S. Um, Arlen S does provide you with the triple tree, just like uh, Thrashing does. So if I did just wanted to go this route and just keep it, I could just keep my whole setup, get rid of all this, and add the triple tree and, and clean it up and it'll look basically just like that. But the gauges on mine are obviously on top. His gauges are located towards the front. The good thing about this is that I, you can also relocate these gauges to the front here as well. Or even bring them closer here with this clamp. So a lot of stuff you can do playing around with it. And then you have easy and clear access to the screen so as, as i was riding i was able to see the full screen right here i'm able to see my gauges so i mean from when you're looking far away you may think that you don't have access to the gauges or the screen but you do really really nice clean look really quick what 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 do you have on your bike what's your setup you got a basani 201 yeah, basani 201 uh i have a th uh, thunder max i forgot to tell you that that's probably why you the throttle response is so quick uh-huh probably caught you off guard you, you know just uh the trash cleaner that's it you're gonna put a cam in this this bitch yeah that's next yeah it's, it's gonna sound fucking sick after that yeah. the seat feels great i heard you like three miles away when you were approaching <laughs> i want my bike to sound like that oh my bike yeah, yeah man that bike sounds yeah. that sounds good yeah, the cam, dude. Well, once you put a cam in these M8s, it changes everything up. Oh, and you see that, that, 
that little Trask uh, breather I put on top. On top right here? We got my boy Carlos right here. Yo, how crazy is it? I went to school basically my whole life with this kid right here. That was our old high school right there. And uh, he got his first bike. He got an Indian Scout. And now we're riding together, man. It's pretty cool. There's some um, really nice roads up here. Here, through the middle of this, we have these farmlands. This is beautiful. Love this. Got a bunch of sheep, cows on the side over here. Really nice restaurant up ahead. Some nice little twisties up ahead as well. It's a beautiful road. A lot of trails around here as well. Ice cream. So you brought you brought us over here for ice cream. <laughs> you 
All right, guys, so that was a nice little rip up here. Got to hang out, come up to this beautiful area. Um, Sunday, well, by the time you guys see this, it's already Sunday, but yeah, Sunday we're gonna come up here and do a nice little, nice little group ride, small. Um, get some coffee, ride some more, go end up at some uh, rib location, get some ribs. Make it a thing, man.